text and music, two different approaches. Let us begin with some good news. In the 1950s, way before the idea of a Second Vatican Council dawned on St. Pope John XXIII, the Syro Malabar Church decided to translate the Syriac liturgy into the vernacular. By that time, Syriac literacy had declined considerably among the laity. Interestingly, during the process of transferring the Syriac liturgy into the vernacular, the Syro Malabar Church showed greater concern in transferring the Syriac melodies, meaning melodies that originated with the Syriac text, as accurately as possible to the new medium than transposing the original meaning of the song text. So, we will now look at some of the melodies in the Syriac version and Malayalam version. This was transferred so smoothly into Nobody would think that this melody did not originate with Malayalam text. That became Maragula Rakshagana Mishiha Kartave Nyanga Nachirumi Prathana Kirkaname Beautiful marriage. Happily ever after. Kambel Maran became Kaitol Aname. Couldn't think of a better marriage. Eta Pusle Baslama became transferred so beautifully. Now let us look at some of the melodies that were created in Kerala. An interesting phenomenon. When the missionaries came, they wanted to change our liturgy and music, but our forefathers resisted. So what they did, they introduced the Latin devotional practices and translated the Latin text into Syriac. Instead of translating it into Malayalam, whatever Malayalam uh, was there at that time, they translated into Syriac and was composed in Kerala. Let us look at one melody. This is the melody uh, with a different melody. This is a chant that I started singing in my hometown in Palipra. <laughs> Look at the Malayalam. Ati Mohanami Tirunal Prabhail Mudamulunu Kanya Mariam. But this is for Abel's version of Bela Yama. There is something very interesting in this melody. Ati Mohanama Tirunal Prabhail. Six beat meter. Not that other country, other cultures don't have a six beat meter, but the way we divide the six beat into one, two, and one, two, three, four is unique to South India. So look at we composed it in Kerala using a South Indian metric pattern, and then once I heard this. It's Malayalam text from, from my classmate who was a student, former student at the Maram Devi The melody was in my mind for quite some time. Yesterday, it all came clear. It all came clear. Adam Chayda Pirayale Vandadum Kheda 
Vakshayundayatum. I heard this only from my mother sitting in her lap. Putanpal, Adipapal. The scale is the same. Look at the interaction that happened in our small little Kerala. So, in, in conclusion, what happened during the process of uh, vernacularization was our concern was to maintain the melody. It did not matter if the text was not faithful to the original, but we kept the melody as part of our identity. Well, in order to understand the greatness of this venture, you need to understand what happened in the Latin Church in, 19, in 1965. After the Vatican Council, they just let the Gregorian chant go. Just let it go. We, the Cyril of our church in Kerala, kept those melodies. Now, those, some of those melodies are golden treasures of humanity. Humanity. But some of the melodies that I sang is like Taj Mahal. <laughs>